Hello everyone, welcome to yet another edition of my daily guide with Auntie Olamide. Father, please shine forth your light onto our paths this day through your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Still on the Joseph series, today we want to take series two with the topic Parental Favoritism Part 2. Parental Favoritism Part 2. So this topic is an outcry to parents. Parents should please stop favoritism amongst their children. Of course, there is no way parents will not love children that are caring and obedient to them than those that are disobedient or wayward. And mind you, those ones we feel are wayward or disobedient, their actions might probably be due to the fact that parents don't get to hear them out or not being patient enough with them. Parents need the wisdom of God not to create enmity between and among their children. When favoritism gets to an extreme, it becomes over pampering. And there are always two sides to a coin. Some children that enjoy so much shower of love and attention from dad and mom might end up becoming mommy or daddy's boys and girls. They will be so much dependent on the love and attention they get from dad and mom, thinking the world revolves around them, while some others still act maturely. In this present generation, however, you see most of such children ending up as vagabonds, with all sorts of addictions attached to them. Meanwhile, those you give little or no attention will want to prove you wrong, even if dad and mom had given up on me. I will prove them wrong that I can be a better person. And as Elia said, it works vice versa. There are some cases whereby those shown little or no attention will have so much hatred for the others and would always want to have a pound of their flesh and they wouldn't mind the consequences of their actions on those that have enjoyed parental care, love and attention. Parenting in this generation we are now is not an easy task at all. It requires the wisdom of God and we take this as a closing prayer for today. Children, you would pray for your parents or guardians, even as parents themselves. Pray for themselves. As a parent, as a guardian, please pray for yourself. Children, do you feel dad and mom don't hear you out? They don't hear your side of the story before beating you up or scolding you because of one of your siblings. Don't hate dad and mom, please. Just pray for them. If there's any matter you feel dad and mom are not handling well, please just go on your knees and ask God to endow your parents with divine wisdom to handle parenting matters. And so, Father, we want to thank you for taking us through your word on parenting matters. We ask for divine wisdom that you, the Lord, we endow parents and guardians of present age with your divine wisdom. Holy Spirit divine, as parents and guardians, we seek your spiritual guidance and counseling in training our words so they will be useful vessels to themselves, parents, families, the body of Christ, their communities, and even the nations. In Jesus' name, our children will not be known as children of Belial. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray that your word this day will restore the love, joy, and unity the devil has stolen from homes through favoritism. In the name of Jesus, thank you, blessed Redeemer, for prayers and sad. In Jesus' awesome name, have we prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. God bless you all.